Well, welcome to the Glint Standard. Uh, this is basically our first episode. Um, but it's not basically it is. I mean, it's our first one. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I, I do basically <laughs> and kind of all the time. Yeah. Um, you'll get to know me during this time. Well, how so. about that? I know. I'm very excited because I don't know who you are half the time. <laughs> that makes sense. So on today's episode, uh, we have me, Ryan Noel, yep. and we have Craig Lloyd. Um, so Craig is our CEO and president. Um, and Cheers. He's, yeah. Congrats to the C-suite. <laughs> hey, it's been almost 20 years now, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's that's kind of the exciting part and why we really wanted to start this. Um, because our agency has a very different view of things, right? So, um, I'm a millennial, you're an older guy. You don't have to say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> the millennial, um, older, older guy. So, I, I figured if we were to able to take that and the conversations mm-hmm. that we have, uh, internally are, are awesome and especially when we're meeting with clients because they, they get two totally different views you know I'm like pro snapchat and TikTok, and you're like can we do a print piece I don't um, even know what TikTok is it's, I'll teach it to you later um, <laughs> doesn't sound like something I should be doing <laughs> probably not <laughs> but, but we have a very different viewpoint right we do um, and I, I feel like that's the excitement that we bring to the room a lot of times when you and I step into a meeting so um what I wanted to do is really translate that into a podcast okay. and go, hey, like, we're going to talk about topics typically around our industry, maybe some career advice here and there about how do you step into an agency. Um, and then also what I, what I thought was really uh, intriguing is to really start with who we are, right, uh, where we came from. So oftentimes when I sit down with a client, it's, it's not about where do they want to go, it's where they've been, right? Um, it's just as important to understand, you know, especially a company that's been around for 20 years, what have we done in the past? Where did we came, come from? Um, where do, where do we want to go? Right. Well, there's a lot of milestones in that with any business for sure. Right. Right. And so I feel like, um, the best place to really start that Mm -hmm. is, uh, oftentimes the name of the company is the first thing you hear, right? You either see their logo, you hear their name, something like that. And so... Uh, help me understand, Glint is uh, oftentimes confusing on the phone because they're like, did you say Clint? And I'm like, no. I said no, I'm Clint. Clint. Oh, you're I'm Clint. also Glint sometimes. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, it's salespeople not listening. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, either way. Yeah. That's how I know the It, it does work. happen. It can be a challenge yeah. at times, for sure. Yeah. So where does the name come from, right? Yeah. Why so did we pick it? We're, right? we're, like, I'm sure Glint wasn't the first thing on the drawing board either. Um, but, like, go ahead and just dive into a little bit for me where where did you get the name glint and why did you pick yeah. the name glint uh yeah that first journey of you know jumping out on your own is it's hard mm-hmm. it's scary um i had a lot of confidence in it um uh, i don't know if my wife really did <laughs> we just had our youngest bun uh bun our youngest son was born and uh, it, it's really actually worked out really well because now as i say the company is almost 20 years old hmm. I have a physical barometer at home. Oh, yeah, so you That's, can like see it growing and walking yeah. and running. So right now we're in the early college stage. So I think we're in party stage now. Oh, good. It's kind of where we should be. Another 20 years, we'll actually be really professional, hopefully doing something good. Yeah. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> but the name itself, when we started out, you know, it was one of those things. I'd been in the industry for a while. I had ran a large agency um, out in Dallas before starting this one. Okay. And what I really wanted to do is uh, back then – really focus on the design aspect and really the branding aspect of companies. Okay. So I'm like, okay, what's better than that than the design group, right? I'm like, oh, it'd be awesome. <laughs> There'd be more than one of me, hopefully, one day. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we'd build it from there. So take a look around. You know, we lived in Arlington at the time. And uh, lo and behold, there's a design group already in Arlington. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe that's where I got the idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just drove past it one day. You're like, that's Yeah. Fantastic. And it's, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where immediately I go, you know, it, it's an easy answer, too. You know, the design yeah. group is, what do you do? We design. We're the design group. Right. You can hit a few different industries, but at the end of the day, it doesn't tell a great there's story. Not, there's not a lot of subtleties to that. Not no. a story that's behind that that's no. in-depth, right? So. Yeah, and we, we, you know, part of where I knew this was going to go at some point, we've done this quite a few times, is we name companies, you know, or right. products, you know, as, as the starting point of where a brand needs to go, right? Mm-hmm. So I want to do the same thing with and start that pathway with us. So I really sat down and put a little more thought into it about who, who do you want to be? How do we want to be represented? Um, what do you want to say? You know, do people, are they going to know what Glint is? Hmm. Yeah, most don't. <laughs> yeah. 
So that, uh, that in itself is a little bit intriguing, which is nice, but what, what it really means is um, it's a thing that um, it catches your eye. It's the subtleties, you know, okay. it's those little um, aha moments that you have. That's the same thing I wanted to have in the work that we did. Those, those, little, those little nuances that help you stand out. You know, as I always say, the details matter. Um, great ideas, putting stuff together, details are lost. It, it's, it's crap, basically. You know, the details are where everything tends to fall apart if you're not there. And thinking through that, I go, what does that mean, right? And you, you've got the, the glitz, the glamour, the gleam, the shimmer, the shine, right? right. And it's, uh, you know, what, that, that's what we want to be. We want to have that, but we don't want it blaring in your face, right? Yeah, I think, I think one of the subtleties to our name um, really comes from a glint, truly comes out of something that's been polished so much. Yeah, right, absolutely. It really starts to get that shine. And, and when you take that metaphorically to what we're doing with brands right. and saying like, we're going to polish your brand, we're going to, you know, really make it shine and we're going to really make it stand out. I feel like that's us applying our brand onto it their is. brand, right? It is. And, and, and it applies in a lot of ways where if we're going to create something new, yeah. that's where it's going to take it. If mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with your brand, we're going to continue to make it shine. Right. If it's a little off point for some reason, we're going to, you know, kick the rust off of it a little bit. And, what does that mean? Well, if you start looking up and researching, you know, Glint kept coming up. Mm. And it was kind of a unique name. It's short, which I really like. Um, helps it uh, not be, you know, Smitherson, Sons, Johnson, and, yeah. and Cole, or whatever, like a law firm, right? And uh, sure enough, uh, applied for that. Um, it was available, and uh, we kind of took off from there. And it did start the foundation of who we are and what we stand for as well as not just being a name where yeah. people can find us. Right? Well, and I think I think the uniqueness to it is, and one of the reasons I'm here, right? You didn't want it to die on the vine. Um, yeah, that's a concern. I mean, as you said earlier, I'm, I'm, I'm the old man in the room now, right? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I'm still in my 20s. I just don't move like that anymore. Oh. But you're right. At some point... It's been a great business, been really right. successful, um, been very happy with its success, met a lot of great people along the way, had a lot of great people working here along the way. Um, as we go to that next level, I find myself going, okay, how do we continue this? How can I be a part of making this bigger, making this better? Maybe I'm just a seed, and that's what it feels like, and I need someone else to take it over, which is part of why you're here, right? right. right. Is, is to bring that youthful perspective and those digital nuances. And I have a good understanding of it. I don't have the details of it all, but I hire people smarter than me. And, and that tends to help a little bit, no, that's, right? That's, that's the key to um, really effective personal development um, mm -hmm. that I have found is you surround yourself with people smarter than you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's gonna make you- Easy to say, yeah. hard oh, to do. Oh, very hard. Right? Yeah. Especially when you start to become an industry leader, then it's like, who do you surround yourself <laughs> right, with? Right, exactly. Who, um, who does it then, right? Who does it? Uh, <laughs> no, I think, I think that, that's a really good point. And the other, you know, as you talked about, we're not Lloyd's design group. So it's, right. it's, we don't ever want to be. Right. And it, it's, it allows us to be multiple people, not just Craig Lloyd. Yeah, and years before we incorporated, it was, you know, it felt like everyone was coming to the agency because I was working on it. And that's not to be boastful or anything like that, right? It's, right. I hand my stamps on everything, right? Yeah. Um, and still is for the most part today, as we've grown and gotten a little bit bigger, it's, uh, it's a little harder to do. But if you put the company standard in place now, the yeah. Glint standard, if you will, mm -hmm. um, that helps everything align and everybody understands what they're achieving towards. Right? right. As long as we have that, um, we're going to be fine. And when we incorporated, that's when that started to change for us. Gotcha. And I became somebody who's working for a business, and the business became its own entity, gotcha. you know, which, is, which, is, which is great. It's a huge milestone. Well, I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Uh, I, think, I think it's just great for, I mean, some of our clients may not have even known where it came from. Maybe not. Yeah. There's probably other stories too that um, maybe they shouldn't know. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they always say there's business Craig and there's uh, fun Craig. Right. And he goes pretty extreme on both sides. I, um, I like fun Craig. But at work, it's, I, I like to think I'm fun. But, yeah. you know, I'm definitely all about business first. That is. <laughs> Which can sure. drive some people yeah. crazy at times, especially if you work for me. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, I yep. know this is going to be part of a, a much larger series as people come to understand who Glint is and, uh, and kind of our backstory, what our vision is, all that kinds of stuff. 
Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like as a as a branding agency, it's important for us to put our brand first too, and say, yes. hey, this is who we are. Um, this is how we think about branding. This is how we think about a brand, right? Talking about a mission statement, a vision statement, all those kinds of things. Um, we don't really have a tagline. I don't feel like, but. Who, us? Yeah. Oh, boy, you've missed the mark completely, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I know exactly which one it is now. Oh, you do? Which one? There's only it's, one. Yeah. <laughs> well. See, now you're really going to get nervous. Put you on the <laughs> yeah. spot on live TV or live podcast. <gasps> live podcast. Yeah, this is why the experienced people mm, mm. tend to still be in the room and why yeah. you need them. Well, you know, as everyone more, else starts to move it forward. Boys just want to change everything. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's not always necessary. <laughs> so, no, um... <laughs> But yeah, so we'll we'll dive. So tell me what that tagline is. Your brand inspired. See, you didn't so, know. I do know. You know our mission statement? No, not yet. So. <laughs> we'll work on that. I, it's, yeah, it's a work in progress. Yeah, so. absolutely. <laughs> no, it's been awesome. You know, as we continue this as well, I mean, I'm tell everybody who does watch it. Yeah. You know, it's uh, if there's something you want to know about, we're very frank, we're very direct, we're very blunt at times. Um, we'll tell you how we feel about it, and you either take that opinion or you don't, right? Yeah. Um, but it's good to know, and sometimes it's good just to have another thought. So leave a comment, you know, talk to us, call us, um, hit us up through email, however you want to do that. Um, if there's something you want to know about and just want a different perspective on it, you've got the, the old fart in the room and you've got the, the younger... Uh, savvy. Savvy? No okay, idea. we'll go with savvy. Savvy. savvy person in the room. How about that? <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Greg. All right.